Peter Weber says dating Madison Pruitt was the most difficult experience ever. Hey guys, we've got all the details on everything Peter had to say, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host Fiona Zari and I'm joined by the wonderful Morgan Wright. Morgan, I cannot believe we are talking about this. I feel like we are in a time machine right now. But if we think back when these two split, they didn't do a bunch of interviews. They didn't give us a lot of context. And Maddie has been making headlines over the past few weeks promoting her new book. So it feels like this has sort of re-entered the Bachelor Nation conversation. Uh, how are you feeling about talking about Peter and Maddie all this time later? Yeah, it is really strange. I feel like because when they broke up at the end of Peter's season, we kind of went straight to Peter's relationship with Kelly. You know, that was always the headline because they got together so quick after the show ended and we were following that relationship and, and that breakup. We never really talked about Peter and Maddie other than the barb of it all. So was I expecting us to be here? Not really, but I mean, hey, you got to love it, right? Absolutely. And I have to say, Peter definitely goes there. In a new interview with Page Six, he got very candid on his relationship with Maddie. He shared it was literally the most trying and most difficult experience I have ever been through. And I feel like just that quote alone, Morgan, thinking back, I'm not shocked by this. Like that relationship was so dramatic on the season. So dramatic for the 24 hours after after the final rose. They got so much criticism from the outside world. Like I'm sure it was trying and difficult. What do you think? Yeah, it was the first time on the franchise that we really saw a parent really take a hard stance against the relationship at the end of the day. And I mean... Peter's whole shtick was how close he was with his family. I mean, he lived with his family up until he was in his late 20s. You know, his family was very important to him. Maddie's first one-on-one -on -one date with Peter, I believe they went to some sort of like family reunion, Val renewal thing, I believe it was. It was some family experience. So for Peter, of all people, whose main storyline is that he's so close with his family, for him to get to the end and be in love with Maddie and his mom essentially very adamantly say, we do not agree with this, had to be one of the harder things that he could go through. Absolutely. And we all know he was struggling with his decision making all season long. So I can't imagine what that extra pressure threw into it mentally for him. He continued explaining, as much respect for her as I have and think so highly of her, I definitely see there were differences between the two of us that probably weren't going to allow a meaningful long-term relationship to flourish. Nothing against either of us. It's just who we are. It is what it is. So this is actually a pretty mature take for Peter, and I know we all like to tease him, but I do think there is some sense in that some wisdom in that like at the end of the day on paper him and maddie were thrown into a situation where it's one bachelor she's a contestant you know he's the guy you might be marrying you fight till the death right to try to make it work you're competing against other connections but had these two people met in the real world and just put their cards on the table i don't know if there would have been a second date right like they really are very very different what are your thoughts on what he had to say here yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I mean, on paper, they couldn't be more opposite, you know? And it's like he said, neither one of them are right or wrong. They just grew up in different parts of the world. They have different values. They have different belief systems. It would make for an impossible marriage, in my opinion. And I mean, I know that I've never been married before, but just to be on two totally opposite ends, you know, of the line here when it came to what they allow in relationships, what they don't want in relationships. They just were kind of doomed from the start. And it's like you said, you get wrapped up in this reality TV world where your heart is drawn to somebody. So you're kind of ignoring the voices in the back of your head telling you that it's probably not the best bet. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, they probably should have listened to the, those voices a little bit sooner. 
but it's also hard because you don't have a lot of time. You know, you get a, a one, one on date here, 15 minutes at the cocktail party here. So it's like, maybe they didn't truly have enough time to explore that as much as they needed to, to make a decision at the end of it. Could not agree with you more, Morgan. And let's not forget that Maddie waited until much later in the season to reveal her intentions to save herself for marriage. And then, of course, she left after learning that Peter had obviously been intimate with Anna Ann and Victoria F. in the fantasy suites. That was a deal breaker for her. There was an interesting question that Peter was asked during this interview, which was if Maddie had the first fantasy suite date, right? Could everything have been different? Because that's really fantasy suites was the final straw for her. She could not get past that. Could it have given them a better shot if she had the first fantasy suite overnight? And this is what Peter had to say. He said, if that would have been the case, obviously the show probably would have gone a little different, but truly, I really mean this. I don't know if that would have changed anything in the long run. And this is what I think is really interesting. I feel like what it reveals is that maybe he was leaning a little bit more towards Maddie and he would have respected, you know, her boundaries with the other women. But even if that would have led to him getting down on a knee with Maddie at the end of the show, their relationship couldn't have succeeded in the real world because they're just too different. I feel like it almost is sort of an everything happens for a reason kind of thing. What do you think here? Yeah, I agree with what you said in regards to Maddie. I think kind of where my head goes is if that's the case and, and Maddie did have the first uh, overnight with Peter and he says the show would have gone different. Why did he get engaged to Hannah Ann? You know, it just kind of seems like Peter could have saved himself a lot of drama if he just listened to his heart, you know, went along with the fact that he knew Maddie was the one for him and not proposed to Hannah Ann. I just feel like it caused her a lot of heartache. Obviously, it made things more difficult when he tried to reconcile with Maddie and then to go on with Kelly. It just was unnecessary. No, I mean, his journey to this day, when you spell it out like that, it still shocks me, right? And these are people and relationships we've talked about over and over again. Like, what a bumpy way to come off of a Bachelor season. And we already touched on Barb a little bit, but at the end of the day, we're thinking real world. Like, in-laws are important, especially if you're someone like Peter was, who family is like a very central part of your world. There was no way that Maddie and Peter were going to be able to overcome all of the drama that went down on the show, right? Differences of belief systems. And then, of course, the barb of it all. Like, let's not forget how intense that was. Coupled with the fact that in real life, maybe they just don't have as much in common. It feels like his season is an example of, you know, the system works, right? Bachelor Nation has proven, the franchise has proven that they can put people together who really are a great match. But sometimes the person you fall in love with in that environment isn't actually the match you think that they are. I mean, that can happen. Yeah, and I mean, we've been seeing that more lately. I mean, obviously my mind automatically goes to Claire and Dale. Uh, they kind of cheated the whole system. I mean, they were together for like nine days before they left the show. So I hate to put anybody in the same category. But you know, as much as we see it fail for people, we do also see it succeed for people. Look at Tasha and Zach. I mean, I absolutely mm -hmm. love the two of them. I know they're not officially married yet, but it seems like that they're thriving. So I feel like Peter, had he made some different choices, do I think he would be married? No, I don't. <laughs> That's just me being completely honest. Yeah, I think a lot of it comes down to what headspace the lead actually is in, how ready they actually are for these kinds of commitments. If you're someone like Taisha, you know, you're probably going to have more success in the long run, but we won't hate on Peter too much. I know we like to give him a hard time. Uh, during her own interview with Page Six, Maddie recently revealed that she doesn't look back on that relationship at all and that it all happened the way it was supposed to. So it really does seem like this isn't just a one-sided thing, right? We have Maddie echoing these sentiments, basically saying it just wasn't meant to be. Does her take surprise you at all? Or does it just feel like these are two people who have really moved on from the situation? I feel like it surprises me in the sense that 
you know, I expect her to be completely over this relationship, right? Because it was very tumultuous. Everyone could tell that they weren't meant for each other. But just because she has moved on doesn't necessarily mean that in the moment it didn't hurt. You know, we saw her on After the Final Rose be very upset. And I feel like, especially with Barb involved, that that adds a whole nother layer to it. And Maddie is a very sweet girl. She's a very kind girl. So I feel like, you know, if I was in Maddie's shoes, that situation would haunt me as well. So I think, you know, good for her that she's completely 100% over that relationship and that she doesn't look back because truly there are better things out there for Maddie than what she had to endure on Peter's season. Oh, absolutely. And I also think it's telling like she's not someone we've seen pop up in paradise, right? Like it feels like she went on the show. She had her experience. She's writing books, she's making videos on TikTok. Like she has found a path for herself that makes her much happier than the world she was in during the time of Peter season. You guys, that is everything on these two we have for you for now. We're curious what you think of what they had to say all this time since his season aired. Let us know down in the comments. And if you are not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you do. Make sure you ring the bell to keep you updated on all things Bachelor Nation. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, joined by the wonderful Morgan Wright. If you want to come say hi, make sure you check out our socials. They're on your screens right now. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.